Bellissimo, Bellissimo Rock and Beach Guide Tuition. I'm a full-time rock and beach instructor, and today we're here fishing for whiting. Now, typically you fish for whiting during the low light period, early in the morning or late in the afternoon, towards the evening, but today we didn't have that choice, but still confidently we caught whiting today. We managed to get three fish, keepers of course, there was a few tiddlers there. Now, the whole object of fishing for whiting correctly is to choose your particular location. What we've got here in front is you can see the white water out the back and as the wave's progressing you can see the wave starting to unbreak into a unbroken wave and then it goes into a parallel gutter and then it breaks on the shoreline. So all we're fishing is only between the shoreline and 15 metres out. Now yes the fish are in very close. They can be as close as 5 metres out and Obviously they're as far as 60 to 70 metres out, but the preferred location to fish is only 10 or 15, 20 metres out for the most. The reason being is because the hippies and the beach worms and the small critters that they eat are riding close. So that's what you do when you're riding fishing. Now the rig I'm using today is, I call it the Bellissimo Improved Paternoster rig. You've got a swivel down below here and you can vary your, your sinker size according to how much current there is. And I don't use a three-way swivel here, I just use an extension of the line. So the tag end, instead of being only one to two centimetres long for the most, it's now about 30 centimetres. You tie your hook off from that. Now, you make about 45 to 60 centimetres of leader between a swivel, the first swivel and the second swivel. And once again, you've got about 30 centimetres of line which you tie off the other hook. And that's the uh, pattern of rig, very, very simple. It saves the actual line getting twisted around that T intersection of a three-way swivel. Very, very efficient, works very well, and uh, that's all you need. What you require is a light outfit. The minimum rod you should use off the beach is around 10 foot. The reason being is because if the seas are up like today, it is much easier to fish with a rod that's around 10 to 12 foot rather than something that's only around the uh, 6 to 8 foot mark. So, a rod that's around that 3.2 metre, 3.6 metres, uh, preferred rather than a rod that's only around 2 metres or less. Obviously, those calmer days you can use that, you know, those lighter, smaller outfits as well. Now, the 55 Alvi, 550 Alvi, uh, which is a 5.5 inch, 6 to 8 pound line. The light rod, which is a three to six kilo outfit, and also some of the best thread lines you can use is some of the uh, Daiwa equipment as well. Fantastic reels. Uh, that's all you need, pretty much. Keep it simple. A carry bag. Now the carry bag is because you may go wandering, so you need to carry bag. Just got your spare rigs, tied off on these spools. Now obviously take your ruler so you can measure your whiting, take a pair of scissors so you can cut off excess line and so forth, take a cloth so you can wipe off the worm gun, All right. take your bay container, your tackle container with the variable size sinkers here, that's all you need, keep it simple and you will be successful. Now fish independently, and this is how you tend to be able to fish independently, if you have to go back and forth to your backpack it's a hell of a lot slower and you end up losing probably 50% of your entire time going back to your gear, back and forth, and it's, uh, it's basically a pain in the butt. So to avoid that, have your setup.